known as HPV. It's the most common sexually transmitted infection and there are vaccines against it. So Dr. Ranganathan is here with CHI St. Vincent Women's Clinic Little Rock to tell us more about the vaccines and other important things we need to know. He says he goes by Dr. R. Dr. R, Dr. Rango. <laughs> Thank anyone. you so much for being here. We yeah, appreciate it. Okay, a lot of us have heard of HPV. A lot of us don't know exactly what it is. Okay. Can you kind of explain it for us first? HPV is a, it's a virus. It is a sexually transmitted virus. Um, there's many different strains of it. Um, it's you know, a common cause of genital warts. It's also a cause of different uh, types of cancer. Mm -hmm. um, and it's one of the most commonly uh, transmitted, sexually transmitted infections as well. Okay, when you say the cancer word, we all get worried. Yep. How serious can it be and what kinds of cancer are we talking about? Well, the types of cancer in particular that HPV can cause are uh, can more commonly what people have heard of is cervical cancer. It can also cause vaginal cancer as well as anal, penile, and throat. It's actually one of the, one of the more rising leading causes of throat cancer. Uh -huh. um, so. And any of those can be dangerous yeah, or life threatening? Yeah, I mean, any of them can be life threatening. Um, and, you know, the earlier on things are detected and treated and, you know, the better the outcome, but they're all very serious. Yeah, what kind, we know there are vaccines out there. Mm -hmm. How do we prevent it? What can we do? Um, well, so the, um, currently the recommendation is there's a, there's a, vaccine called the Gardasil vaccine, and it's recommended for uh, children, uh, boys and girls, um, recommended to start at about age 11 to 12, and it's recommended up until the age of 26 for women and till the age of 21 for, uh, for boys and men. Um, it's a series of three vaccines. The first one is, I guess, the first day you get it, and then two months after that is the second dose, and then uh, six months after the first dose is the third one. And it's really important to finish out the full course of all three vaccines to get the full therapeutic effect. Right. When you start talking to parents about this, they get nervous and yep. think, I don't, you know, I don't want to talk to my 11 year old yep. about this. But so what do you say to them? Well, you know, it's not to say, I think one of the things that people get worried about is, you know, kind of saying, well, now that we're treating something that can be a sexually transmitted infection, it's almost saying, well, it's, you know, we're admitting that our kids are going to go yeah, out. Or and is it, it permission? It's not permission. It's right. almost just saying this is a very common sexually transmitted infection. You know, mm -hmm. 79 million Americans have it today. Right. Um, and 14 million every year uh, contract it every year. And 14 million new cases of it happen every year. So it's just saying this is almost, you know, it's so prevalent that you know this is something that if it's a simple vaccine that can prevent you know a dead, you know deadly forms of cancer right then you know it's one of the few vaccines that we have that can actually be preventative against cancer yeah. so yeah absolutely and and you know they're kids you yeah. don't have to tell them everything yeah. you know at 11 or 12 years old but you will know they're protected yeah. okay how do you know if you have it are there symptoms to watch for um most people don't know when they have hpv um the most common things that it's going to that hpv will cause um can be genital warts which are going to appear as bumps um, either a single one or so, you know kind of a series of them called condylomas um, and, you know, most women find out that they have HPV through an abnormal pap smear screen, which, mm -hmm. you know, in some cases is then tested for HPV. Um, and abnormal cervical, uh, abnormal pap smears are, you know, they're caused by HPV. Mm -hmm. So that's typically when people find out that they okay. have it. And men or women can transmit the yes. disease? Yes. And can catch it, right? Yes, absolutely. So really anyone who is sexually active needs yeah. to have the vaccine yeah. yeah if your doctor has not offered it to you is that a conversation you need to have it is and it's becoming more prevalent with pedi i mean pediatricians are really doing a great job uh, you know all over the country especially here in little rock and arkansas they're doing a really good job of you know kind of encouraging and informing patients that they need to you know be more aware of this and mm -hmm. putting it in just generalized you know vaccine recommendations so it's you know and we are seeing drops in rates of cervical dysplasia and cervical cancer as a result of the Gardasil vaccine so okay other than the vaccine is there any other treatment if someone has this um there's not a particular treatment for the virus in and of itself mm -hmm. but for kind of the things that can happen along with the virus you know genital warts your doctor can treat uh, genital warts and that there's treatment options for that mm -hmm for abnormal findings on a pap smear when they're found early there's treatment options for that right. and, you know increased surveillance options uh, or you know treatment options um, and then you know with any forms of cancer 
that are caused by HPV, the earlier they're detected, the, you know, the better the outcomes and the more treatment options there are. And we need to get the awareness out there. Yeah. You know, a few years ago, we had not even heard about this. Yeah. But is that getting better, do you think? Yeah, I think awareness is definitely getting better, and it's starting with pediatricians and family, you know, family practitioners. And right. It's getting a little bit... It's, get, it's getting, awareness is definitely getting When there's better. a vaccine that could prevent a cancer, yeah. we need to be aware of it. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Dr. R, Dr. Rango. <laughs>